Okay. Yeah, we are recording. Okay, cool. Uh, so I will kick off with a short introduction and then I will pass over to you, Jacob. Mm -hmm. um, I'm super happy to have you all here today. Uh, we are having a live coding session with uh, Jacob and, and developer program team. I will quickly introduce uh, you to the host. So we'll start with Jacob and please welcome uh, him. He's a front end lead at developer program team. Uh, he built several apps himself and he will be building one today with you uh, live. Um, he'll be joined with Ola, who takes care of uh, documentation and all educational content uh, from live chat platform. We probably also have um, Michal, or he will be joining in a second. Uh, he leads backend services for us. We also have Sambor and Dominic uh, in developer program team who takes care of front end interfaces, including developer console and marketplace. Uh, we also have Christian who takes care that the quality of our services is top notch. And we also have Maciek, the UX designer and project leader for marketplace. We make sure that all the interfaces are user friendly. And finally, last but not least, we have uh, Jakub Derda, who is a product manager of the developer program team. And uh, they will host you today for, for live coding. And this is a moment that I can pass over the mic to, to Jacob. Cool, thank you. Uh, thank you, Philip. Uh, hi, guys. So yeah, uh, my name is Jacob. And as Philip mentioned, I'm a front-end uh, developer. Sorry, I just also have to uh, admit some people to the meeting. For some reason, I enable the meeting room and now everybody wants to join. Well, okay, that's good. That's good. And yeah, what we're going to do today is, uh, is we will try to implement a, sing a simple app and uh, which we are going to use in our uh, product. So we're going to use developer console, uh, live chat uh, app and other SDKs built by live chat, but also uh, different libraries. I'm going to discuss that later uh, as we go along. Uh, but yeah, what actually our team is uh, is doing. So let me share my, let me share my screen. Uh, cool. Yes, so uh, our team uh, is trying to make it easier for external developers uh, to build uh, apps, uh, which then can be uh, installed uh, for the marketplace and used with, uh, with a live chat app. Uh, it can be simple app really uh, just like helping or filling the gaps uh, uh, with the uh, live chat app. So for example, if there is a missing functionality and you know it and you would like to have it, there's, there is a room room for you to do it. Or if you would like to integrate with uh, other platform like I don't know, Slack uh, or Google Docs or any really, uh, this is also the place to, to do it. And then when the apps is, uh, is reviewed and published, it goes to, uh, to the marketplace. And yeah, in the marketplace, as a uh, as a customer, you can you can install it. Sorry, as a user, you can install it uh, up here. And then I'm going to show you later how it's connected with um, with the live chat app. Uh, okay. And also, uh, if you haven't heard yet, uh, we are running a virtual hackathon. Uh, there's not much time left and the submission deadline is as the Sunday, but uh, there is still time. So as you can see, uh, hopefully today, uh, it's not that difficult to implement an app. So I guess two days of hardcore work is, is enough for you to do it. Uh, I'll try to keep this uh, meeting quite uh, casual. So feel free to ask questions. Is it on chat or just like, on the microphone, feel free to do it. We will try to we'll try to answer. Um, okay, and what else from the introduction points? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So let's uh, get back to my presentation. When is the lunch break? 
I already had one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, you know. Cool, okay. So uh, within our team, we are uh, running something called the uh, fun with flags for uh, Big Bang Theory fans. I think you know uh, what I'm talking about. And today um, is a special one because it's going to be via Zoom and we, we invited you guys as well. Uh, we're going to build a, a weather app. Um, yeah, I mentioned about that. So agenda is, uh, we'll have two parts. And the first part, we're going to implement a functionality which displays um weather information about the customer who joins uh, the chat and in the second part if we have time uh, we're going to send uh, weather information uh, from agent to to the customer uh yeah some so some requirements so if you like to watch me it's fine but i'm also encourage you to uh, to do to the coding uh, as well with me so there are a few things you, you require to do. Uh, you, you'll need to have a live chat account. It's very easy to, to sign up for uh, like now and it's free. Uh, so you can do that on the livechat.com website. Then you would have to uh, clone the repository. Uh, I'm going to actually paste that uh, link in the chat, hold on. Uh, And yeah, uh, I'm going to I'm going to use uh, JavaScript uh, and uh, React as a as a framework. So, uh, yeah, JavaScript knowledge is uh, I guess it's required. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, I asked my team yesterday uh, what will be the use case for for the weather app uh, because it's good to build something, but it is also good to know what actually you're going to do and is like your business or or your client business uh, fit for it. So yeah, we had a few, uh, few, few ideas for that. Uh, so yeah, that's all, one, <coughs> the one which is quite obvious is holiday bookings. Uh, let's say you have a, you have a travel, travel company and uh, somebody was going to ask you about the weather, uh, perfect scenario also for the restaurant bookings. I don't know if it's like, a, if it's a restaurant outside or, so, or, it's, uh, or something, it's, also, you can you can ask about the weather. Uh, close close retailer that was actually a good one uh, where you can actually depends of your customer uh, weather you can actually maybe suggest them to to buy different type of clothes. And for example, if an uh, emergency organization like I don't know, let's say you have some problem in the mountain, you is for some reason you have uh, for some reason uh, thankfully you have like uh, you have reception on your mobile and you can contact an agent and tell them like uh, what's the weather there okay maybe, maybe it sounds stupid now when i when i when i think about it but <laughs> it's uh, it's good enough okay cool so in the part one as i said uh, we're going to display customer weather uh we're going to use create react app um to uh, to uh, for the for the um to build the, for the for the app and then we're going to use agent app sdk i'm going to talk about this uh, in a minute and for the weather, uh, we're going to use API from Open Weather Map. Uh, yeah. And in the second, in the second part, which we hopefully get to, uh, we're going to use account SDK and uh, rich messages. Um, but yeah, more about this later. So yeah, let's go to let's go to demo. Uh, okay. So as I mentioned, uh, you would need to have uh, you need to clone first first of all uh, this repository uh, can you guys still hear me and just and see me okay yeah yeah okay uh, i've done it already uh, i've got it here <laughs> installed so uh, but just to make sure you just do npm install or yarn install uh, if you prefer yarn we're going to work uh, from uh, on master branch which has a uh, like a placeholder i created to help me with, uh, with the code to go to, to go through the uh, for this meeting 
Uh, Jacob, so just a little suggestion. Uh, probably the font size for the uh, terminal yeah. would be uh, really nice to have it. Yeah. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, okay, while this is uh, this is happening, uh, we go to uh, developer console. Uh, cool. And this is this is the fresh account I created today. Uh, I'm going to create a new app. So I'm going to call it uh, weather app. Hit continue. And yeah, this is the view, like the basic view you get when you create a new app. Uh, you have you have some overview. Uh, you get more info here. Uh, later, uh, and then you got those sections on the left hand side about like analytics of your app. This is useful when your app is published. And then you have the building blocks. <coughs> I'll get to the details about this later. Then you have some display uh, details. So for example, like yeah, your name and the short description, which is visible in the marketplace, like over here. Uh, and then the app icon. We have some generator, but I, I prefer a uh, prepared one uh, icon, which I think it's uh, size. And there, the short description is going to be, I don't know, display weather information. Cool, we're going to save that. That's uh, fine. And then uh, we will go to building blocks. Uh, we have different building blocks and depends on the application uh, of your, but, of your needs, yeah. So we have the authorization block, uh, agent and budget, action, chat actions, webhooks, uh, chat webhooks, monetization. So yeah, if you'd like to sell your app on marketplace, you can do that as well. <clears throat> uh, cool. I'm not going to go through uh, through them through all of them today. Uh, we're going to we're going to use probably just one or two. Uh, yeah. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is. We are going to uh, in in agent app we call it as we call it. Um, so this is like a live chat app where uh, agent has access to, um, to to all the chats from the custom from the customers, uh, so they can communicate uh, with them here. And we have the section we have the section of uh, applications. Uh, on the on the right hand side, uh, hold on. Over here. So if I start a test chat, <clears throat> and I chat. Uh, yeah, the section of the uh, for the apps is on here on the right hand side. So here on the top, I already, my, my license already have three apps installed. So you can see them here. The new one is not visible yet because it's not installed. Um, so yeah, um, so we're going to use this app, agent app widgets. Uh, okay, so because this is going to be a development, pro development, I'm not going to publish that into production today. Uh, it's just going to go on the lo local host. So as we <coughs> probably can see here, if we run NPM, npm start it's going to uh, open localhost on port 3000 i believe yeah and if all goes well you should have some placeholder um cool uh, you should have some placeholder like like this in here uh cool so yeah we're going to insert that over here And here we have uh, widget placements. Uh, so we're going to use chat details. This is the one uh, I was talking about, this one on the, on the right hand side. But we also have an app settings, so where you can actually put your settings, uh, a full screen app, which basically if you create one, <coughs> it's going to be stick over here on the, le on, the, on the left sidebar and it's going to work as an iframe. So like a full screen. Uh, sorry, like a full uh, full screen app over here, um, and and the message box. So if you use that one, <clears throat> then the message box is going to be sorry. I'm going to start this chat. It's going to uh, put your app over here. Uh, but yeah, today just a chat detail section. So let's create that here over here. Hit continue. 
Okay, I did that actually on purpose uh, because we had uh, many questions about that, and it's not that uh, because we require to be uh, to have uh, HTTPS on the um, on in this in this URL, and it's not that difficult with uh, create React app. It's really very simple. Uh, what you need to do is just on your on your in the dev mode, you just stick into the uh, scripts HTTPS equals true, and that's it you get your uh, certificate for the development purposes. Of course, then for the production, you would need you would need a proper one. Uh, yeah, well, you could, we are now we are safe because we know what we're doing. So it's all good. Uh, cool. <coughs> so I'm going to change that now to HTTPS and to continue. And that's actually it for now. Um, if we want to see our app, well, our app for now is just displaying some HTML. Uh, we can just use the private installation node. So if we go to private installation um, and we hit install app, this is going to install your app, but only on your on your account. Yep. So it's not going to be visible to anyone else. So it's it's good it's good feature. So you can actually implement it and see how it looks like already in the live chat app. Uh, cool. So if I refresh this page, yeah, you can see you can see our icon here. So if I press on it, perfect. There is this little card I created uh, with some title, body, and uh, and a button, uh, but it doesn't do anything yet, obviously. Cool. Uh, so what we're going to do now, uh, we are going to uh, scaffold our app. So if you go to <coughs> app, app.js file, I, I already created some views. Uh, well, we're going to use only one. Um, so I'm going to use uh, widget, but maybe let's go through, let's go through packages I've already installed. Uh, for CSS, we're going to use Emotion. Uh, of, of course, you can use any preference you, you have, uh, but for this for this demo, I'm going to use that one. <clears throat> uh, as I mentioned uh, before, uh, we need those libraries uh, to communicate with uh, different parts of uh, live chat ecosystem. So <coughs> for the part one, we're going to use Agent Hub SDK. Uh, for the part two, we're going to account SDK. I've already installed that. We're going to use our uh, pattern library, uh, which we have. Uh, it's called design system. Uh, we have that uh, design system. Uh, so it helps actually to build the your app, which looks not a, like like na native 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 app. Yeah. So we have all the same like fonts, colors, buttons, other you know other HTML elements, which looks uh, similar to the one which is uh, which is native. Uh, in order to have this look and feel that is not something like, you know, uh, which shouldn't be there. <clears throat> so we have that here as well. Um, and this is some, some just some standard stuff from Create React App. And to communicate with API, I, uh, my preference is to use Axios, uh, Axios library, but you can use Fetch or, or anything else really. Uh, but for this demo, I'm going to use that one. Cool. Uh, and what else? All right, yes. Uh, so as I mentioned before, uh, we are going to use a open weather map uh, API. It's free for, for, some use, for, some, for some time. Uh, so what we need to do uh, is just to go <laughs> to this website, create an account and create an API key because this is demo, I'm going to delete those keys after the demo, so uh, so there is no security breach. <laughs> uh, cool. So I'm going to use this this key. The problem with this platform is that I think they require a few minutes in order to activate that key. So if you create now one, it might not uh, work straight away, but uh, I think you just need to wait a couple of minutes. Uh, okay. So in the meantime, I, I believe we have a question from Karen. Uh, can the card widget created to be sent to the customers, basically creating a widget that can be sent to customers to quickly do a specific task? And uh, 
I believe that uh, we can uh, suggest using a moment, right? So uh, mm -hmm. a particular uh, request to the customer that asks him or her to open up um, an iframe. And within the iframe, you can do all kind of activities. Uh, so that's probably you would do a thing. We, we don't currently provide an opportunity to show entire widgets to, to the customer. Yeah, if you and if you like more information about moments, uh, yeah, it's you just go to our documentation and just hit moment, and um, just go there and and read about some use cases. I think that's the, that's the perfect place. Yeah, so for instance, like picking up the date in calendar or providing some additional details, like filling in a service, that the, the, these kind of activities. Cool. Thanks, Philip. Because I wasn't, I wasn't actually following chat. Uh, so yeah, if you see any messages, please, please let me know. Uh, cool. Okay. So where was I? Cool. Yes. So we have the widget uh, created, and also uh, within the widget, let me just close this window. We have the cart, which you already saw. So inside the cart, uh, we have some really basic HTML. Uh, I'm going to put that here because we're going to use that in a minute. Cool. So for now, I guess we can close. We can close the app and uh, we can go to go to the widget. Right. So what next? Uh, well, we would need to have. Uh, we need to connect with uh, with, with live chat. Uh, ecosystem. Yeah, so we're going to use we're going to use uh, widget SDK um, agent app SDK, which based on documentation, uh, let's close that. Okay. If we go to messaging, sorry, agent app agent app SDK, and we scroll here. Uh, yeah, so basically what we what we um, what we require is when um, when customer when customer joins, we would like uh, we would like to have uh, the information. And live chat provides that information via uh, geolocation and inside the geolocation object, we we store uh, like a city. That's what we're going to use based on based on the API. So in order to implement that, uh, we would need to uh, import the details uh, widget and then just initialize it, <clears throat> uh, create some uh, events and then handle that. So let's let's quickly uh, let's quickly do that. So I'm going to import uh, details widget from Live chat account, no, okay. Live chat uh, agent app SDK. Cool. We are going to use uh, hooks in, um, in React. Well, I'm not going to go through the details what, and explaining what hooks are. I hope you guys uh, understand it. Uh, but, uh, well, I'm going to use, use state hook to create local, local state for, for this widget. This uh, whole implementation is not going to be, be production ready. There will be, of course, room for improvement. I just wanted to show you um, how easily it's to implement the app uh, within like few few hours. Well, uh, cool. So I'm going to create a profile state. <clears throat> All right. And then we are going to create um, a widget. Um, and we are going to use the reference for that. We won't create multiple um, instances of the same of the same thing. <laughs> And of course, I need to use effect uh, use effect hook in order to uh, to react on the on changes from 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 the props and different uh, different variables. So this can go here. Okay. 
so our first, first um, our, our first effect is going to be uh, yeah. So we probably need something like get widget. So let's implement that method. And get widget is going to be a method which instance initialize initialize the um, the agent app SDK the details uh, details widget. It's going to be a synchronous function. I'm going to use uh, async awaits, awaits, but you can you can use promises or yeah, don't use anything else. <laughs> uh, cool. <clears throat> I'm going to use a try catch for handling some errors. Um, well, let's play those errors if there are any for development purposes, of course. Um, and then by default, we're going to reset that profile <laughs> if there is an error. And this is a reference. So we have this current thing, current object on that. And we are going to call await from the create details widget. So that's the, that's the method we imported uh, from, from this SDK. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and then this method, I'm sorry. <clears throat> this uh, this object um, have some uh, listeners, events listeners on on it. So we just do get uh, widget current on, and as I think documentation states, yeah, we, ch we can just do the customer profile. So this, as I mentioned, is going to display your customer profile. Um, and we're going to we're going to demo that demo that in a minute. So if you go to customer profile, okay, if that's async as well. So in here, uh, actually, I'm going to show you that. Okay, that's all saved. And uh, we also need to remember about cleaning process from the effects. So uh, as, you, as you can see, we've, we've added some listeners, so we just have to remove them from here. So if we go on here and we're going to just return widget current off, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, well, we get back to that. It's, uh, let's just do for now conditional. Um, and let's just like that. Um, cool. So there are. Um, okay, let's open that tools. Okay, so we have a we have a profile here. Uh, you guys still 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 can hear me, yeah? That's right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. And if I'm going too fast, let me know. Uh, I hope I'm not. Um, but as I said, this this session is recorded, so you can then you can then remind you can then follow it. Uh, from the recordings, if you like. Uh, but yeah, uh, as you can see, um, we have some information about this customer here. So we have information about the chat, um, about the chat ID, about the thread ID, about some pre-chat survey if they had. Uh, we have we have the email and the one uh, the, the one a key which is uh, important for this for this demo is the geolocation. Yeah, so we have geolocation currently of my position. We have a city and, and other stuff. Uh, and as this uh, API for the weather, there is an endpoint which, um, which lets you get uh, the current uh, weather in the city name. So what we have to do is just build an API client which uh, calls this endpoint uh, path the city name 
uh, the API key and yeah, that's it. And we, we, we should get back some data and then we will format it later. Uh, cool, I'm going to show you actually how this uh, widget responds to different charts. So for example, if I have, if we have uh, more, if we have more customers, so let's open one in Firefox. So I'm going to open chat, it's called Mark. Uh, cool. So if we switch, you see I have uh, Mark and I have uh, Jacob Sikora. So, so every time you actually, you actually, actually change, uh, you can see, you can see that this this event uh, from here is actually recognizing that I'm changing it. So every time uh, an agent will change uh, the chat, it will get the um, the current customer <coughs> profile information. So that's good. Yeah, but let's uh, can close this chat for now. Don't need that. In order to keep it active, let's write some message. Good stuff. Uh, cool. So yeah, we got so we've got the profile. So we just need to say save it to and need to save it to our state. Okay. And that's that's that. Done. Uh, cool. And now uh, we will uh, create. Uh, well, we will create the API uh, API for the weather. So as you probably saw, there is a folder with API I created with different clients, the live chat and weather. And for now, I'm just going to use uh, weather. I have this. I have this um, API key uh, created to show you about, and I'm using Axios to create new instance of this API. And uh, the method I'm going to use is just I'm going to create something called I don't know get get weather, and the argument is going to be city. Yeah, as as I described before. So what we're going to do here is going to create some, get some response from, and I believe that was, uh, I think this is just get. So we go to get, and that was weather point. And our query params is the city. And the app ID, where app ID is, um, is API key. Cool. So we're going to do Q, which is city, and then app ID, which is API key, of course. In the production, uh, in the production ready application, I do not recommend storing API key on the on the browser because it's security breach and everyone can steal steal that key and use it. So ideal 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 solution would be to create a, a backend app. Uh, which uh, which handles those those responses and you just call your 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 backend and get get uh, stuff back. But for purpose of this demo, uh, I'm just doing it like this. So don't worry, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, cool. <laughs> uh, so let's uh, let's see uh, what actually this endpoint does it. So so what else we have here? So we have app ID mode uh, by default, I think is JSON, that's good. And uh, we have units and uh, that's probably important for us. So we have standard metric imperial uh, because we are in Poland now. So I'm going to use metric. Uh, cool. Units and that's metric. <clears throat> okay. So, well, Let's see what we have here. Oh yeah, because it's Axios, I don't know if you use it before or not, an Axios response, uh, re response in, in a certain way. So there is always, um, so there is like a data, uh, data object, which is within the response. So I believe 
<coughs> excuse me. So I believe the response of this um, of this call is will have will have will have a data inside. So we're just going to distract this data because that's what we need, and we're going to return data. Yeah, but let's see let's see how how that works. So if we go to if we go to our widget, uh, we can create a new instance of this class over here. So let's call it weather weather client. Uh, Client equals new. Okay, yeah, we need to probably import that. That's, that would be useful. So if we do weather happy client from happy weather, cool. So then we just do weather happy client. And just to follow some 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 rules, uh, cool. So that's that. Okay, and we are going to create. Uh, we're going to create some method uh, for that. This can go. This can go. Cool. So let's call it uh, fetch <coughs> weather. To call API, so it's going to be async. I will explain you that in a minute. So my preference is, uh, if possible, and if we don't do any, if you don't do any extra handling, I'm handling errors uh, inside inside the component here. Uh, but if you would, if you'd like, if you'd like, um, you know, some custom error erroring or different different stuff uh, related to error handling. Yeah, feel free to do the try catch here and handle errors over there. But for this for this uh, exercise, we are going to do it here. <clears throat> so uh, try catch. Are we doing with time? Okay, it's okay. We still have twenty minutes or so. Uh, cool. So let's call it create a weather a variable. And we are going to call our client, <coughs> and we're going to do get use the get weather method. And as I as I showed you before, uh, we are storing the profile in the in the state, so we should have it here. Our profile, geo, location, city. <coughs> of course, this stuff I'm writing now it's not it's not bulletproof. So you know, I'm suggesting for you to check that uh, that the profile geolocation exists actually before you call it. But uh, but for the for this presentation, I think it's uh, it's enough. Okay, uh, perfect. And what what we need as well here is to create some state when we're going to store the current weather. We're going to pass the current weather uh, uh, further down to. Um, to the weather card via props. As you probably know, in React, there's few ways of doing it. I'm doing it this way. <laughs> cool. So let's create a setter for this uh, state. Set current weather. Okay. And by default, uh, by default it's going to be. Cool. So we're going to use that setter over here. So when we get weather back, well, actually, before we do that, let's see if that works. So let's console log weather for this guy. Yeah, okay, we need to call that uh, from our, um, we need to create an effect. So <coughs> let's create another effect. Which is going to be the which is going to depend of the of the profile. So if the profile exists, because there is there is like the initially initialized initially in it, and there is a time which you have to wait for for the initial load of the profile. Uh, so if that changes, uh, we're going to 
profile not profile we are going to fetch uh, fetch the weather so at this point we know that we have a profile and hopefully there is a geolocation um, and we can call it nice cool so i think that's pretty much good for now so let's see what we have so if we go to chats and reload the frame just to make sure Ooh, 401 okay what's 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 happening um, so we are using get and there is no query params or what's happening you know it's a live demo when you see red warnings in the console yep. it's probably oh, yeah, also okay. on purpose no it's not okay i just missed it here uh, Hey. So if we go here and see what actually the API returns, it returns some stuff like and the stations, <clears throat> some information about clouding, uh, chords and uh, coordinations. I think of your current position, I think, or maybe of, of this weather station. Um, and then, and then we have the name of the station, time zone, we love time zones, uh, wind, and some main information about temperature um, and what else. And then we have the weather array, which will tell us about, okay, which, is, which has some description, an icon. I'm going to show you, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then main information, but it's cloud. Okay, if I see through the window, yeah, that's correct. It's uh, broken clouds. <laughs> uh, I don't know what, what you guys have, uh, but cool. Uh, we can use that now. Yeah, it's pretty broken on my side as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and as you can see, uh, I used uh, I used uh, metric uh, units. I think if you use imperial, imperial you get Fahrenheit, but uh, as I mentioned, we are in Poland, so we're using metrics. Uh, cool. So I think this file is good enough for now. Uh, we're not going to change anything here. What we need to do is um, is to set the current weather. So if we fetch the weather, okay. So we got the weather. We're going to do it in here. Of course, I'm you know for uh, for the demo purposes, I'm like not. I'm storing the whole object. You can store the information you need. Uh, it's it's fine for this demo. So console, just to see an error. Okay, and then if there's an error, we're going to reset the current weather to the uh, no. Okay, so now we need to use this uh, this current weather somewhere. So as you probably know, uh, we are going to do that in the weather card. So we're going to pass uh, we're going to pass uh, the current weather as a prop over there. So let's call the prop uh, weather, and this is going to be <coughs> current weather. Okay. Uh, cool. So on here, and here we have this card. Uh, we're going to we're going to rename it to be weather card to be consistent. And I believe this is weather card. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, as I mentioned, I'm using emotion for for CSS. Um, I'm not using any theming for this demo. Of course, you can do that. You can, you know, move your variables uh, somewhere up, uh, which is uh, consistent. 
So as you can see, you know, I'm using different margins and, and whatnot. And I'm also using the design system colors. So I mentioned what I'm using, but I never show you. So if we go to, <clears throat> to the website uh, design system, I'm going to, actually I'm going to post all the links into my presentation later. So you can actually, you can, you can follow it. Uh, you can see you can see all that stuff here. We have those components um, which are available now. Uh, and yeah, we have also the colors which we are using um, in our apps. So you can you can uh, install this package uh, separately and you can then import the colors and and use it in your in your application. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we've imported some colors uh, over there. And we're just using using them here in the motion uh, in the CSS. Uh, cool. So okay. So what we have here, we have uh, we have some title, we have some body, and we have some uh, action. Uh, okay. For now, we're not going to use that section. So let's just comment this out. Uh, but for this one, okay. So we are passing weather as a prop. So let's do that here. Okay, uh, so let's say in the title, I'm going to say, I don't know, customer weather. And over here, uh, I think I'm going to just follow uh, I sort of iPhone weather up, um, which I believe. something like like this. Well, I'm not going to implement everything. I'm just going to put maybe like a city and then if it's uh, if it's sunny or broken clouds, temperature, but also an icon. So yeah, let's try, let's try to replicate something similar to this one. Mm, okay, so we are going to use, um, div, uh, where we, going to put the location, nice, but the location uh, which we got back, we actually, I'm actually not sure if it's uh, if it's just my current location or if it's a weather station. Uh, well, I was experimenting that uh, a few days ago and I saw some different results. So what I'm going to actually uh, use is a uh, location from live chat geolocation, which is, which is more accurate. And that's it, that's uh, stored in the profile, yeah? So I'm going to pass that prop over here as well. So like that, cool. So we are going to do profile geolocation and a city. <clears throat> I'm going to use uh, uh, CSS like this, uh, just to be quicker. Uh, so I think maybe let's do font size 22 pixels <clears throat> with some margin uh, bottom 4px. I do not recommend that way. I, I'm just saying this is just for demo. Uh, okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, we have some error, but let maybe re reload the frame. No, uh, okay, so what's going on? And uh, da, da, da. profile weather, did I save everything? Yes, I stored profile, yes. Uh, so what geolocation, what's the problem? Oh yeah, okay, there we go. So um, I'm not checking actually that the profile, that the profile exists and I'm just, passing stuff and trying to render this uh, this component without checking if actually the profile the profile is present. And obviously, obviously this is really, really, really bad. So let's do a quick um, quick check if there is no profile. Uh, or actually, because we know that if uh, if there is profile, 
we fetch the weather and if there's if, if we can fetch the weather we have custom weather so we can just check here custom weather uh, custom weather exists uh, and why is it complaining because it's not custom but it's current cool okay cool okay nice uh we have we have some uh, title we have some uh city name uh, okay let's go let's go further so what else uh we had there so we had like information about about the weather <coughs> let's create another div i'm just going with divs um hope you don't mind and then here we're going to have weather if i can write okay cool uh, i think that was uh, let's see what we got back again in the preview okay so we have weather and and the weather key which is an array okay unfortunate but let's stick it for now let's weather uh, that first element of an array and we can uh, use the description but as you can see the description is uh, small letters so i'm going to uh, use css to change that but also i'm going to change a little bit font to be smaller okay and text transform uh, I think, as far as I remember. Sweet. Okay, so we've got uh, the city name, and we have some information about about the clouds or oh, sun, if you're if you're lucky. Um, and then uh, what I would like to show is uh, is some icon. Uh, of course, you can map you can map icons uh, of your cho of a choice. <laughs> you know, if you have if you're a designer. And he has time to do it. Pre uh, create your assets for you. It's 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 cool. Uh, this API lets you uh, has different icon ID uh, for different um, for different uh, weather. And I think this is described. Uh, this is described somewhere in the docs. <clears throat> okay. Where is it? And Nope. Mm. Okay, this is here, weather icon. Mm. Weather con okay, yes. So list of weather condition codes with icons. So if you go here and they provide you um, the icon lists and all the description which are possible with, with this API, uh, and also they give you a URL which uh, which lets you compose comp uh, compose your icon based on the ID. So this ID here, this 10 D thing, uh, is uh, used from here. So if we go to to the example and we open that uh, file. So as you can see, there is this icon with the weather, and I believe if I use this 04D instead of 10D, it's going to show, yeah, broken clouds. <laughs> cool. And yeah, so let's use that. Uh, so what's uh, what's the URL? So the URL is like this. I hope they using SSL, good. So what we are going to do is um, we're going to create another another row in our cart uh, with an image and to a for a source uh, we're going to add <coughs> this URL and what we're going to change is just the uh, icon. So um, cool. So if you just do weather going to use a string interpolation so we just do weather weather first element of an array and an icon 
and I believe that should that should do it. Uh, something is not right here. Okay, so I didn't close the image. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. So if we go to chat, perfect. So we've got broken clouds. Um, so we got information about the city, uh, about the weather, and then we also have some visual stuff, which you all love. Okay. I think that the last, last thing we're going to do is we're going to show some uh, information about temperature. Ooh. Okay. Um, so what's going to happen here is weather, always weather main and the temperature. Weather main and temperature. Uh, I do not want to, um, I want to just display uh, an integer, integer, yeah? So I'm going to parse that information to int, don't need the comma separated places. Um, and we're going to style it. Uh, okay. So, is going to the biggest the biggest one as per uh, as per apple weather uh, up so let's see what we got here cool uh, we've got 16 it's good maybe we we just stick a uh, some degree sign uh, okay how does it look perfect and maybe we have also information about um, the maximum and the minimum temperature uh, on a day. So let's go to high and we do weather and main, I believe that was temp max. Um, okay, and the degree sign. And as, as above, I'm just going to pass it to integer. Uh, but, you know, you don't have to do it. And the lowest temperature is going to be the same, but instead of max, I'm just going to use min. Okay. Uh, so let's see what we have. Perfect. Uh, so let me close that. So we have uh, information about the city for this customer. Uh, we have some icon, we have a temperature, high, low. Uh, okay, maybe we need a little space between. And I think this is something uh, maybe even Philip would agree <laughs> to release it. Cool, uh, but if you guys follow me, uh, if you all uh, could uh, join this link and uh, join the chat, So we can actually test it. We can actually test it um, if that's working with different locations. Um, so could you try that now? I got stuck in the queue. <laughs> yeah, there is a queue. No. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so we have uh, five or six people, or even more. Okay, so we have one from Torin, the same temperature, uh, something from Krakow. Uh, from Bitgosh. Oh, from even from Portugal, yes, yeah, Joan, very nice weather. <laughs> uh, and Wrocław, cool. So, you know, as you can see, uh, as you can see, this uh, this works uh, quite well. And I and I believe oh, there is a poll as well from, from the UK. Uh, sweet, all right, the same weather in the UK. What a surprise, uh, cool. 
Okay, so what the, what's the time? Uh, yeah, so it's actually one hour. Um, so what will be the next step? So we have we have let's say we have this app, and let's let's call this app. Uh, let's you know it ticks all the boxes. Uh, unfortunately, today we're not going to go to the part two. Uh, maybe we'll do another another session later uh, when we actually when we're actually going to show the inter interactions between uh, between the customer between agent and the customer. I'm going to push the code uh, on my repository, and it's going to be in a uh, in a dev branch. Uh, and this implementation in dev branch has these interactions, uh, but unfortunately, we won't have time. Uh, we won't have time today. But what would be the, would be the next step? So the next step is uh, if you're happy with your app, uh, you go to uh, dev console, and then. <clears throat> Uh, okay, you need to decide if you would like to uh, have this app for free or you would like to sell it. If you want to sell it, <clears throat> you have to create an app monetization block. In order to do that, you would need to create um, a, the authorization block. This is required by the our by our billing API. Uh, then the next the next step would be to uh to fill all the blanks and uh, this uh information which are going to be then uh, visible <clears throat> in the marketplace so you can actually you can actually see that here so if you go to uh, to account and you go to settings and you go to integration and apps we have this uh, section uh, which shows the installed apps on your license, but also the apps you're implementing. Implementing. So if you go to private apps, this is our our private app. Uh, you have an icon name and the description, and you can actually open it in the marketplace. And this open only visible to you private uh, view. Yeah, so you, you see that the app, um, the page uh, for the app will look like this. And you can change stuff from here, like like the short description. You can change the price. You can change the icon. Uh, you have information that there is no description and that's required. Uh, also, there is no screenshots. Um, uh, we also <coughs> we also require to put a tutorial, or we will require that, and then some features and benefits for the app. Uh, I can show you. I can show you an example. Um, of an app, uh, so for example, we have this uh, nice app, uh, Snap Call, which has all the information I was just telling you about. So yeah, well, there's an icon, there's a description, long description, the price information, the trial, you can all specify that in your in the monetization block, how many actually teams are using it, who implemented it, uh, what's the category, you have the section, for your screenshots, but also for a video link. There is a uh, one link for video. Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, and yeah, there is a setup instruction in the place of a tutorial. And then you have the features which describes all the features which which are relevant to, uh, to, to your customers <clears throat> and the benefits. Uh, and you, you can all specify that information here. Yeah, so you have the description, the category tutorial, the app cover, the background. So the app cover is this section here. You can change that image to fit you, your, your needs. You can also change the background um, to match your, maybe, the, maybe your color scheme. Um, and then this is the section for features and benefits. When, it's with, when all this is uh, implemented, and you're happy with it you just go to a publish section on the marketplace and if all the information which i just described are are there you will have a button over there to submit the app to review yeah and once that's reviewed so once that's sent it's going to send the information to our team who's responsible to uh, to people who are, who are responsible for reviewing the app and they're going to review up uh, based on our uh, uh, rules and you'll get some feedback if there is and there, if there is something uh, which is required to be fixed um, and then once we are happy we're sending you information that the app is ready uh, to be published and then you can actually decide 
when you want to publish. Yeah, you just have to press the button to publish a new app is going to be visible over here. Um, okay. So if we go back to uh, my presentation, <clears throat> uh, yeah, unfortunately I, I didn't have time to do the part two. Um, I could probably start it, but uh, yeah, I, there's no no chance I will finish. I will finish that uh, before four. I don't think. Um, yes, if you have any questions, uh, now it's the time to do it. Anyone? At least one question. <laughs> Let, let me help you with that. <laughs> no, 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 Philip. <laughs> uh, do we have any questions on the chat? No, okay, I got some stuff from my friend on the private chat. I'm getting lazy with CSS. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, okay, so, you know, if there is no questions, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post I'm going to post that video on my Twitter, but also it's going to be on, on live chat uh, dev platform uh, Twitter. Uh, I'm going to also put the uh, the slides over there with useful links, the one I described. And also, again, the reminder, uh, there's still time for the hackathon. You can still you can still uh, you can still submit your uh, your solution. Just think of a you know nice app which fits the uh, the subject. As and as you can see, it's really easy to to do it and, and really not a long period of time. So cool. That's it for me. Thank you. Can people reach out to you if they have questions later? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, yeah, you can reach me out. Reach out. Uh, reach me out on the uh, on Twitter. Or yeah, probably Twitter is the best the best place. Mm. But also you can you can you can use our live chat dev platform uh, dev platform uh, account and ask questions over there. Mm. Okay, that's it then. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Kuba.